Hello experts, I want to show you what my first treatment is for a new X and the example is this Wetterling splitting mold. So the Wetterling X uh, came in a rather rough finish um, but it, this is not a problem. It should be within the grasp of anybody that already did some kind of woodworking or filing. Wetterling is manufacturing the handles in-house unlike many others that have them delivered by an external supplier. And I begin to make a round bevel in the end of the shaft and you see how I file it it's in a in a swing. See that? If you want to make a round bevel you have that kind of motion. It's the easiest to make a, a round bevel. And this will prevent the wood from splintering and eventually tearing. Next uh, part I want to do is create some ridges for my left, my holding hand, which is I'm right-handed, so it's the left hand. I'm holding it in the end. You can roughen it just with a rasp, and you have a similar uh, grasping effect to get uh, a better purchase. But I find for for this uh, Wetterling small, I want to go with with some ridges. Um, they are I think longer lasting and uh, give me a better purchase in the end. So I do the same motion to create a round bevel along a round, um, a round surface. See, you want to swivel it like this. Otherwise you, you would create uh, straight segments and that's not what you want. So you do that all the, the holding area down like six or seven those ridges and um, this will help you to not ever lo lose, the, lose the head or <laughs> lose the X, right? <laughs> okay, I'm testing it. Yeah. And now for the thumb and the, the backhand, I, I make only one bevel there. You can, you can do more um, if you think that's necessary can try that out and you still can add them later on and um, that's no problem. Okay, that seems to feel good. Let's swing it. Okay. So the next is I want to take away that that part of that splintered wood on top. So the nice thing they do is they, they um, leave the, the shaft protrude a little bit so it can swell a little bit more there and uh, give additional strength. So I see it often, it's cut flush with the head, but I think this gives some, some additional, some additional hold of the, the X head. And um, this way it's also easier if you uh, stip it then into oil um, to increase further the, the swelling and uh, the maintenance of the, the X. So uh, now I fix um, a little problem that uh, Wetterling um, sent me like that. There is some gaps um, on the cheeks uh, of the X and over time I'm afraid it, it might start wobbling there. So of course if you manually fit um, a shaft, a handle, then this wouldn't be the case. So but since it's new, I just don't want to take it apart. Um, so I add some um, some wood glue with with um, waterproof wood glue, and you want to make sure the glue wicks in all the way. So I help it a little with the, the wire. So you do that on both sides, and then you let it cure a little bit, wipe off the excess, and um, this will swell during curing, so it makes it a tight fit. And now I, I do some uh, moisture measurement um, just to see if the, uh, the hickory handle is really dry. So my workbench in the cellar is a reference and it's always around 13%. So I'm making sure the, the gauge works right. And I use that on the hickory and 
Let's see, it's about 7.5% uh, percent humidity. And let's see the large splitting mold that I always store here in the cellar um, that has about the same like the workbench. It has 12, but that can be a, a deviation due to the different type of wood. This is hickory, the workbench is um, beech wood, so you have different uh, salts in the wood that, that uh, change the conductivity just a little bit. So I'm using now turpentine mixture with linseed oil and I smelled it and it needs a little bit more uh, turpentine um, to make it the linseed oil thinner so it penetrates uh, the, the handle uh, better. I'm going to use a paintbrush and not a piece of cloth like you see it very often. Um, it's just easier for me and less messy. The linseed oil will then harden over time and make the surface more resilient as well as it will uh, stabilize the water content of the wood and so prevent excessive shrinking or swelling. So I apply it from all sides and um, make sure not to put too much on it but for the first treatment I believe that that shaft was only waxed. It didn't look like linseed oil because when it dries you get a like a darker color similar to what you see here. Um, there is some spots of, of tree sap on the old handle um, but that's I just leave that on that that's just fine that's um, fur sap um, which I split green and it's it's very sappy so now I show you um, how to steep the end of the the handle uh, to increase the swelling of the end of the shaft even more and uh, to to prevent drying out of the handle at this part um, you yeah, just let that sit overnight in in a in a containment like this i use the lid because it just fits very nice to hold the head and have the the end of the shaft um, sitting in it so the next day um, I did the same with the mall and look how that looks now uh -huh. you see two different woods they use um, a different wood maybe um, poplar for example or an, an, another similar wood a birch I've seen before or the important thing for a wedge is that the wood is, is soft so it's compressible. If it's too hard, then uh, you don't get the, the spring effect that actually holds it in place. Additionally, you want to, of course, um, add some uh, wood glue that increases also the, the, the swelling and uh, the hold over time. So that, that should dry now and harden um, a couple of days before first usage and um, like in three four days it will be ready to go so and lastly we can take care of uh, the leather sheaths I'm using um, beeswax and uh, lanolin it's a compound of mostly uh, all natural products and you add a little little bit um, each time and distribute it with a little cloth and this way you saturate it and, and don't over um, over excess it right and the leather can take it up and this prevents the leather from actually drying out and getting um, tear, tears and uh, so you you will keep that elastic and it will last you a long time uh, so now the new style I like it um, with the magnets inside. It's um, small. You can put it in your pocket and you can uh, take it off and uh, put it on easily. 
it's not uh, like a little bit cumbersome like the other style, the old style. In between they made a style with um, with knobs. I, I guess they, I don't know, they gave up on that and now they have this this small uh, protective sleeve which I, I actually do like. So that was basically it. I hope you liked it and maybe learned something. Feel free to give me comments and uh, your thoughts on it and I'll see you hopefully in the next video which I will uh, talk about the X-head geometry of the Wetterlings splitting mall. See you then.